How we lost this mirror in Jurassic World Dominion was pretty freaking good, I thought. <laughs> Listen, this movie is getting so much hate, and I don't really understand why. <laughs> Me and my dad thought it was pretty good. So, you know, I walked in. I mean, I walked in thinking it was going to be good because I was excited. And I was like, this movie's going to be awesome. And then it ended, and I was like, yeah, that movie was awesome. <laughs> Why does everyone hate this movie? I don't get it. That's, I don't know. Um, I just, that's, that's how I am with most movies, honestly. That, like, what most movies people don't like, I, I usually like. But I don't know. But if you haven't seen Jurassic World Dominion yet, I would definitely recommend not watching this video because there will be major spoilers for Jurassic World Dominion. So, uh, yeah, spoilers in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bro, seeing all the OGs back together was so awesome. Whenever, also, whenever Laura Dern comes in, she takes her, <laughs> this was funny to me, I don't know why. She takes her sunglasses off the exact same way Alan did in the first Jurassic Park movie. And I was sitting there, and I got the reference when she did it. And I, But I feel like we were, we were supposed to be like, oh, she did the thing. But I was just like, why did she do that? <laughs> Did she do that on purpose? Or did she just so happen to do it the exact same way that he did it? Just out of just happen to do that. Cause you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like why did she do that? Just <laughs> Like I get the reference, but why? Why are we referencing that of all things? I know it's an iconic shot, but come on. And then the way the theme kicks in when Alan comes in, I was like, oh, shit, we, we in this. And then Ian comes in. I was hoping for more Ian. I know he's in it a good amount, but I still... You know what, though? When he lights up that thing and he's trying to distract the dinosaur, my dad leaned over to me and he whispered, he's probably going to die this time. And I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, Dad, don't even say that. They can't kill Ian. And they didn't, thankfully. Thank God. Ian lives. Thank goodness. He was also the funniest character. I don't know why. If Jeff Goldblum is in a movie, chances are he's the funniest character. And Ian was definitely the funniest character. I don't know if they write him a different way or if it's just the way Jeff Goldblum delivers his lines. It's just so funny to me. I know he's meant to be funny, but I feel like Jeff Goldblum just makes it funnier. I don't know why. That's just how he is. He's amazing. Uh, I love Jeff Goldblum so much. He's the best. He's like the best character in the franchise. He really is. He's great. Um, and Dinos the T-Rex does the it fucking walks in front of that circle to look like this. I mean, it was cool, and I was like, uh, haha. But part of me, I know this is gonna seem like a nitpick, but part of me was just like, why would the dinosaur do that? <laughs> I know I didn't do it on purpose, but, like, it was clearly just like, oh, look, it's the logo. I was like, but, I mean, I thought it was cool. I was like, oh, that's cool. But then I was like, mm, it's just the logo. <laughs> but, like, what am I? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it was cool, though. And then that fucking one dinosaur had some long-ass fingers. I immediately thought of salad fingers. I was like, this is a salad fingers dinosaur. And then it was, like, Wolverine and shit. That fight at the end, though, which, you know, every Jurassic Park movie, or not all of them. They don't all end in a big dinosaur fight. It seems like all the Jurassic World do, though, which is fine. I'm cool with that. I think it's awesome. So the T-Rex, the fucking Gigantosaurus or whatever, and the Salad Finger Wolverine dinosaur fighting and shit, and then that T-Rex pushes it and it lands on the claws. That was that was cool. When that happened, I was like, okay, that was cool. There's giant bugs in this movie, which I let me tell you, I did not know that that was going to be in I don't know if that was in any, any of the TV spots or trailers or anything, but I did not know those bugs were going to be in it. But there's a scene, I think it's the first scene with them, I think it's the Alan Grant and Ellie scene, I don't know, where they're walking around and shit, and those bugs are flying all around them. When I tell you that I would die instantly, the second one of these bugs even lands on me, heart attack, I'm dead. They're gigantic bugs, I don't like regular bugs, you think a giant one's gonna land on me? Just, I'm dead. I'm dead immediately, especially because of how big they are. The second that thing even touches me remotely, I'm dead. I'm out. I didn't even get eaten by a dinosaur. I didn't even get to die a cool way. I just bug. Oh. I'm, I'm serious. I don't like it. They're gross. So I'm glad those things aren't real. 
But then whenever that one landed on that barn thing, and the one, all the giant, all of them, the big swarm of them came flying around, I was like, yeah, no, I'm dead. I would just die instantly. And just, nope. I can't, like, no. I don't want to. No. It's gross. I would probably, I'm probably more likely to survive an encounter with a dinosaur than I am with that thing, because I will run from a dinosaur. Those things, I will run from them, but they can fly and shit. I mean, dinosaurs, sure, they're fast. And I'd probably get eaten by one anyway, but whatever. Let's get back to talking about the movie. Love seeing all the OGs. I like Chris Pratt's character, Owen, and uh, Claire. It's nice to see them again. And they're, like, fully together this one. There's no on again, off again like in the previous two. Um, uh, um, the action was cool. I like the action. That was cool. I, f I did think the movie, the whole, I thought the whole movie was going to be about dinosaurs on Earth now, but that wasn't really the plot. The plot was, hey, these fucking bugs. But I was kind of okay with that. I was cool with it. But I did want a little bit more of seeing all the dinosaurs just living in humanity now. But I was cool with the way it was. I, was, I still liked the movie. Also, that dude, I can't remember his name, who was in the previous two and was in the very first Jurassic Park movie. He was, um... He was cool. He's like a he's like a good guy in this one. He was a villain in the previous two. He's he turns good, so that's cool. And they're gonna fix the ecosystem of bugs or whatever. So yeah. Um Oh fucking Richard Parker from the Amazing Spider Man, that's what I'm gonna call him, because that's what he's from, I think. I think that's him. What's his name? Dodgson or some shit? Lewis or something. I'm just gonna call him Richard Parker from the Amazing Spider Man. So Richard Parker from the Amazing Spider Man. He gets Fucking Newman, the guy who played Newman, I think in Seinfeld, is in Jurassic Park. He dies by that fucking, you know what I'm talking about? That one, that dinosaur. And it fucking kills Richard Parker from the Amazing Spider-Man. And he's got the same can, and he drops it and it rolls, and I was like, okay, the exact same way from Jurassic Park. <laughs> Which I was, I was hyped that these dinosaurs were in the movie and getting to kill, even though fucking... Owen chokes one of them. I was like, bro, what? This dinosaur is about to kill Bryce House Howard, and you just see, bam, he's just choking it. I was like, I was like, fucking Chris Brown just choked out a dinosaur. And then what does he do? He sta what does he do? Does he stab it, or does he tranquilize it or something? He knocks it out. He chokes out a dinosaur, is what I'm trying to say. I was like, bro. Also, Chris Pratt is immune to hypothermia, apparently. He falls through the ice, and he's down there for a good seven seconds. He gets out. He's fine. No shivering, no nothing. My, I'm a, I lean over to my dad. And, you know, we don't talk a lot during movies because, you know, we don't like that. But I whispered to him. I said, yo, my dad is going to get severe hypothermia. Ain't no way he did not get something from that. They need to do a Jurassic World 3.5 that's just him being like, shit, man, I was in that water for too long. Out of all the things I've been through, I've fought dinosaurs. This is going to kill me. I'm just saying. They shouldn't really do that, but I'm just saying. There ain't. There is no way in hell he didn't get something from that. I know it's a movie about dinosaurs, so it's unrealistic already, but I'm just saying. My dude fell into ice water. He's fuck. He's He shouldn't be okay after that. I know he started the plane crash, but like, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. My dude just fell into, through ice, into freezing, like literally freezing cold water. He gonna be hurting after that. It was still a good movie, though. Um, I liked seeing all the OGs with the new characters. That was fun. I really liked all that. That was cool. Again, the action was cool. Life, uh, finds a way. I love fucking Jeff Goldblum, bro. Um,. It was pretty good. I like Maisie. She was cool in this movie. I liked her. You learn she's not a clone. Apparently, her mom, because Blue has a kid in this movie, which Blue's daughter, or, yeah, I guess Blue's daughter, Beta, is very, very cute. Love Blue and her kid, her baby dinosaur. I love them. And every, I love how every time a dinosaur shows up, Owen's instinct. It just works on every dinosaur now. <laughs> but I guess her mom... Maisie's mom, Charlotte, I think is her name. I guess she is Shmi Skywalker because she just had this baby. There wasn't a dad. Because I know they say she's like blue. She created you all by herself. But I was like, is Maisie the chosen one? This is Star Wars. 
Like, she's the Virgin Mary. <laughs> I was like, what, huh? I was mad confused. I still am. Like, I don't know what the explanation is. Like, did she... I don't know. Is Charlotte a superhero? She can just create life, I guess. Or, like, did she use dinosaur DNA? That'd be weird. Or did she, like... Is it like a sperm donor? It's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The movie doesn't tell you. The movie's just like, she's like blue. She created you all by herself. That's it. Which, like... Okay, sure. I mean, I've been thrown at... Weirder things from movies have been thrown at me. Okay, sure. But, like, in the world that this movie takes place in, the rules we've been set up, is that even possible? I don't know. I mean, if she did create Maisie all by herself, shit, that's freaking cool as hell. But, like, they didn't explain it. I was confused. I was like, she's Shmi Skywalker, bro. I know Anakin was created by the Force. I know. But I'm just saying. Like, damn. What the fuck? It's cool, though. I like Maisie's. She's a cool character. Um, I like the new character. I can't remember her name. The girl who was in the plane crash with Chris Pratt. She was cool. Um, but yeah, I really liked the movie. I thought it was pretty good. And um, it's the last one, I believe, they said that it was. And it was pretty good, so I would recommend seeing it. Well, actually, I just spoiled the whole movie, so if you stayed for spoilers, then I guess if you still want to see it, you could, but I just spoiled the whole thing, so I don't know. But if you haven't seen it and you're okay with spoilers and you watch the whole thing, then I would recommend seeing it, because I, I thought it was good. But out of five stars, I'm going to give this movie four, which I believe is the same rating I gave Lightyear. But, which is better? Probably Lightyear, but this movie was pretty good, too. I liked it a lot. So I'm going to say four stars out of five. I enjoyed it. Really liked it. I think it was a good end of their Jurassic franchise. And if they do more, which wouldn't surprise me, they say this is the last one, but you never really know. So if they do more, I'm open to it. But if they don't do more, I'm also okay with that. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys thought of Jurassic World Dominion. Did you, did you love it? Did you hate it? I thought it was pretty good. But yeah, guys, please give this video a like. Please subscribe if you want, and check out my videos. Da -da 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 -da.